Hey guys, doing another collab video. This time on the new Crown wagon or estate, whatever you want to call it. Officially called a Signia. But is it a crossover? Is it a wagon? Either way, it looks great. So Kirk and I'm going to go through everything with you and tell you more about the new Crown Signia. Let's go. Let's go. All right, David, let's start with the front end design. Wow, it is incredible. Now, I'm gonna start at the top because we saw this design with that crown sedan that we don't get in America. Yes. This strange portion here that is actually, if you put your finger in there, there's like a rubber sealer there. Oh yeah, right, right. but it doesn't light up or anything. Here, no, there's no just, there's no daytime yeah. running light that comes around that we see in other Toyota products. It just products. lights up here, goes Correct. all the way to the edge, mm -hmm. and then, but no light there, which it's a bit odd, but um, but it's a design anyway. Yeah, and then the headlights actually down here, so they've yes. separated the two, and I don't know if we've seen this sort of design in any Toyota yeah. or Lexus, really. Actually, a lot of Typically, the, they're um, connected. A lot of the Hyundai products have that, yeah, where agree. the headlights on top is not there, but it mm -hmm. looks like a headlight, but the actual headlight is below the, below the front section, like near the bumper. Mm -hmm. But you know what? This is, again, Lexus style, right? Like It's very Lexus-like. This like. Like open and then close, the split mm -hmm. thing. I mean, it looks good. You just begin to wonder at what point <laughs> people are going to the buy design, the Lexus versus this one. Right, that's the thing. One. You know, this car and like the Crown, the other Crown, the Crown sedan that we have, it's so close to the ES in pricing. This is going to be close, I'm guessing, to the NX and RX in pricing. And it's going to be a tough, yeah, it's going to be a tough, sell I think maybe for the entry level NX or RX kind of like what the Grand Highlander does to the TX in yeah, some way. I think so. so. No I do admit when the Crown series first um, was first introduced in Japan and we got the crossover and then we weren't sure if we we're going to get the uh, the Sport what they call the Crown Sport, the Crown Sport yeah. which is a sportier version or we, if we we're going to get this estate I was assuming that this is not the version we're going to get I was assuming it's the other one that we're going to get but this one is actually bigger than the Crown Sport and that's probably why we end yeah. up with this one. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad but this one actually looks better. But I do also like the Crown Sport in Japan. That one also looks great too. It looks great. You know, this vehicle is, its wheelbase is more like the RX wheelbase. It's like 112.2 mm -hmm. inches. But this vehicle is actually replacing our beloved Benza over yes. there in the yes. United States market. And this yeah. is a much bigger vehicle. It like is much bigger car. This, yeah. this is almost like a next generation Highlander with two rows of seats. It is. Yeah, because they're going to cancel the Venza after 2024 model year. That's yeah. So we still have one more year one if you year. really like that's the Venza, a, that's which it. I think is great. Yep. And then uh, I think the regular Highlander, is that going to carry on? or We, we don't, don't know yet. We yeah. haven't heard official that, news. That I'm get. hearing there might be a new vehicle coming to the Indiana plant. Right, right. And is that going to be a new Highlander? Is this going to be something replacing the Highlander? Is it going to be an electric? Who knows? Right. It's hard to say. Okay, let me do that quick uh, outside quality check. We know this is a pre-production or even a prototype model. Yeah. But uh, this one is built in Japan at the Tsutsumi yeah. plant. Yeah. So Tsutsumi plant, they produce a uh, normal um, crown. is also produced over there, the crossover, I should say. So, uh, but this, look at this. This quality it's is, pretty this good. is less than three. This is like 2.9 yeah. millimeter. It's completely Perfect smooth. alignment. Edges line up perfectly yeah. as well. A uh, little bit off here, but that's again, prototype thing. Mm -hmm. So I can forgive that. This is this Perfect. looks really good. A little bit off. Let's just size a little bit higher than that side. Yeah. But tiny. once again, for a prototype, darn good. And this Ooh. kind of stamping is really hard to do. Like that shit. It's like this, a shelf. Like this sh you know, almost like a shelf. Yeah. That's not easy to do in the stamping shop. Uh, but looks really good here too. Oh, actually, it's a little bit off here. The gap here, but. This is uh, once again quite a bit of a uh, early prototype, mm -hmm. but paint job looks good. Is yeah, this, this, what, this is, is Storm this the new Cloud. Color? Storm Cloud. Okay. Yeah, it Same debuted on, on the, the Grand, Grand Highlander. Highlander, right? Yeah, yeah, I love I love this color. Looks great. Kind of a mixture of a blue and gray, mm -hmm. but medium color, not dark, mm -hmm. not light. Massive 21 inch wheels are just two trim levels, okay. XLE and limited. There's no platinum like we see on the Crown, and therefore there's also one powertrain. It's all wheel drive only, hybrid. Right. Um, around 243 horsepower. Uh, so, yeah, Toyota's putting that in pretty much all of their K platform products nowadays, right. and it's it's kind of their main powertrain. Yeah, powertrain now, yeah. And then in Canada, we don't get, uh, we only have the limited, 
in Canada. You just get one trim level for yeah. this in Canada? Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess it's just the fact that they don't sell as many. Um, but let's uh, see if we can kind of walk inside before the other people begin to take over. Okay, so we're gonna go inside. Um, Kirk is gonna go to the other side. And let's check out the interior. Hopefully you can move the seat back a little bit there, Kirk, otherwise you nope. can't. No, nope. no electronics. Okay, so That's you all right. might not be able to squeeze in, but I mean, it's pretty well the same as the normal crown. It's, it looks identical looks to me identical, as the normal crown. Same curvature here, yeah. which we're seeing in the Camry now. Gold this accents. Design. Yeah, gold, bronze accent. Same design. Everything is turned off, obviously. 12.3 inches, 12.3 mm -hmm. inches here. I mean, you know, this, this is maybe one complaint about the Crown Series is that nothing wrong with the interior, but it's too business-like and not enough yeah. luxury. You look at Genesis, what they're doing with their interior, how beautiful the interior is. I'm really oh, wondering, and fit. obviously Genesis is a luxury brand, <laughs> this is not Lexus. Yeah, I can't move, you can, you I can't can't move even, back. Can't really but this is, this is the issue I've had with the uh, normal Crown that we already have. Is that the headroom is just too Very tight? Limited, yeah. Too tight for me. And this seat is not. I think this seat's actually all the way down. Is that okay? Yeah. I see. It's it's really really close. It's tight for me. I mean, can not move it back? But. Yeah. So I think you know, there's nothing wrong with the interior, but I think it doesn't look like Crown. It doesn't look like a flagship interior. That's my biggest complaint. Yeah. Well, here's the you thing. Know? You know, they can't go too much into Lexus, but at the yeah. same time, the Lexus interiors are nowhere. No. what they used to be they're there's no wood too. yeah, yeah so plain. it's it's kind of their just recent design language it is soft yeah. touch everything looks nice mm -hmm. it's just where's where's that quilting where's, the, where's that yeah, high level where's stitching? the crown feel yeah. um i do like this new I, I saw this in the other crown too i like the, the fact you can just drop your phone in yes. there and then start to charge right away as opposed to fiddling with a flat surface yeah, so right. i like that it saves space yeah save space too and you got this this thing divider. I think they took the divider Adjustable out. Adjustable cup but, holder, uh, yeah. yeah. USBs, d dual 12 inch screens. It looks okay with this two color, but when it's all black, it's so monotone, right? Yeah, and we only get, at least in the United States, we get two two interior color options. Is this, which is called the saddle tan, which is kind of right. like a milk chocolate. Okay. Uh, and then there's just black. Yeah, and that's it, right? Yeah. So let's take a look at the rear seat. See if we can fit in good there and see if the roominess is acceptable so i'm about uh, at the right spot on the front so if i go to back oh actually you know what it's roomy than it's i roomy. thought it's actually and pretty good i have much better headroom back here too it's not a oh, lot okay. well it's not a lot but it, i feel like i have more room maybe it's because i have the sunroof that's yeah, open that's above true. me yeah this helps a little it's bit huge that. roof but the shade is open right so yeah that gives us a little bit more space but it's also comfortable like the seat is uh, a little bit reclined right now yeah and yeah so actually in terms of being able to fit north american sized people as opposed to japanese sized people this is really good design lots of leg room good tow room um you know third passenger looks like it'll be quite comfortable here as yeah. well and like uh, kirk said headroom is good Pretty comfortable, I think. I, I'm kind of curious what the Macan, not sorry, not the Porsche Macan, but the Porsche Macan style oh, version, which Crown is Sport. Crown Sport. I wonder what that rear seat might be like. We never had a chance to sit in the back seat we of did. that one. Did we? Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, we did. It was smaller, it's, right? It was smaller than this, yeah, but okay. not by much. You know, I was actually yeah. impressed. Um, and they had cutouts on the roof. It had right. no glass roof That's in true. it. That's true, we did sit in Japan. You know, yeah, since it didn't right. have a, a glass roof, you had more room for your head that's in true. there. And so I think yeah. that's, yeah, you know, the cargo space is really what people are gonna be sold Maybe. on this. Right. Because these seats do fold flat. Mm -hmm. um, and they say six and a half. Uh, Plywood? Six and a half foot from back to front. Okay. Let's, let's take a look at the yeah. trunk then. I don't know if we can open it though. Yeah, well, I think, Let's flip you guys over here. It, you know, it might be open. Watch it, your step here. It looks kind of open. Yeah, oh, here yeah, we, we go. Good, good, good. Listen up. There's oh, no no electronics no elect going on. Electric. But no, look at that. Like, off, but this is a oh, ton of cargo huge. space. That is, it is really good. And check this out. You just hit the lever yeah, and yeah, it automatically folds seat. over. Let me try this side too. I want to show you something. Yeah, this is something I learned too. a second ago. What is that little thing? So these fold forward so you can extend the. 
Oh, cool. You can extend the floor, but... Oh, cool. Okay, this thing's actually yeah. forward, but... Right. I see. But okay, you, that's cool. Yeah. What, gonna, what is this thing here, though? Is that... I don't know. I don't know what that thing is. Maybe it opens and you can... Maybe there's some kind of, a, like, a, a connection point behind that, but... Yeah. Actually, I'm not sure what that I'm, is. I don't know. <laughs> Something. It's going to open up somehow. Yeah. But either way, this is a great idea. Why didn't they think Look of that before? That. But Look at do that. you have the number? Do you remember the number for cargo space by any chance? I don't know if we have okay. cubic feet of cargo oh, space. They, oh, they, they just said six and us. a half feet from here yeah. all the way to the, way the back to the of the back. front seats. Okay, super. Actually, this is really good. I don't think, with 21-inch wheels, I don't think there's a spare no, tire. No, here. there's no spare tire, I don't think. But good to see, uh, like, a low uh, lift here. Yeah. And flat all the way. Aluminum well, right slanted, here. slanted, but... but pretty flat mm -hmm. and uh, yeah this is like a very compelling road trip version right yeah. for people who wants to carry lots of cargo who wants a comfortable seat this is not a three row so you have to move to a Grand Highlander or a Highlander for that or, matter yeah, Highlanders yeah. still have three three it, it seats does. as well it does yep or Sienna um, <laughs> but it looks it looks good like where is the normal crown where is the normal crown the normal to? crown's hidden behind the wall over there okay, so, so we, we can't won't, see we it won't, from here we won't go there right yeah. now but this is way better in terms of packaging in terms of features spacing if you're going to buy a crown this is the one to get right i think people are going to go crazy for this yeah. uh, and the toyota and lexus i love buyers. the styling the, the yeah. styling's a home run it's gorgeous yeah. it's a lifted wagon they call it an suv but it's a lifted wagon let's be real it's, yeah. it's a lifted they call it an estate in japan yeah exactly so in it, japan it is they call it station they, wagon openly in the brochure that yeah you, absolutely and this so. is the kind of cars that european also love right you know the estate bmw audi yeah they all totally. have this uh, slightly lifted wagon because it's functional they drive great yeah. you're able to get that cargo capacity without any compromise and handling right um yeah. and in in a situation like this they're just raising it. So we know Volvo does that with their cross country models. I think yes, that's what yeah, it's called. Yeah, and right. We know Subaru is wildly successful with their Outback. Yep. This yep. is Toyota's hybrid upscale yep. version of, of a Subaru Outback and the market's gonna salivate over yep. it. What do, you, what do you think of the uh, the name Signia, by the way? It's, you know, I don't, I'm not as like weirded out by it as, it, as we were with Afila when we were in Japan. Yeah. Afila with Sony and Honda, that's <laughs> yeah. so, so weird. But, yeah, this but, being yeah. also another made up word, Signia. Yeah. They say Everyone it, wants to call it Insignia. Yeah, they say it's a shortened version of uh, Insignia. So why didn't they just call it Insignia then? Maybe trademark stuff, who maybe, knows? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't know. I don't, I, they probably could have just called it Crown Estate. That would have been a cool name to me, yeah. but estate somehow doesn't sound right i think in i think way. it's it, well, when i hear estate i think uh luxury though yeah i think something yeah, that's perhaps. worth worth a lot perhaps uh, yeah but so the name surprised me a little bit there's other fellow youtubers eric how's it going yeah we're filming yep. you can say hi hi what's viewers. your what's your channel eric it's rev match tv and this crown signia looks amazing i love it yeah i know <laughs> yeah, we super. we can't stop saying about how how great it looks and toyota's <laughs> going to do it. the problem is they won't be able to make enough with it from it you know the volume's going to be low i have to say hi to you yeah, as well yeah, you, know, yeah. you know what i love about it is the fact that this has a design that reminds me a little bit of the porsche puro saying and that's because we have this super long roof that's kind of sloping down a little bit in the back and it sort of gives me the ferrari the, one you yeah, mean yeah the, the vibe of a shooting brake even though the I, yeah, I can see that long enough but i get the shooting brake vibe and i i love the design of yeah. this i think it's well, because be in solid. japan this is actually called the crown estate and they call it station wagon in japan right so it was it was designed to be a station wagon and here they're calling it crossover yeah <laughs> you know when i and yeah. when i drove the crown i was my big point was is it a crossover is it a sedan? And people are arguing. I thought it was more of a sedan, but right, it is a sedan with a trunk. It's a but, lifted uh, sedan. I call this yeah. a lifted uh, yeah. station wagon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's a cool design. But good to see you as nice well. See you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Check out Eric's channel, Red Match yeah. TV, David's channel, uh, Automotive <laughs> Press. <laughs> yeah, all, all together. Of yeah, all of us. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, just one of me. So all well, right. thanks, guys. Yeah. Uh, you know, closing it out with a crown, Signia. Yeah. It is, you know, it looks way better in person than even, it looks good in images, but it seeing does, it in yeah. person has a lot of presence, a lot of curb appeal. 
The big question is, would you buy this versus Lexus RX? Yes, I'd yes. buy it over yeah. a Lexus RX, NX, I'd I buy agree. it over a Highlander. Yeah. This is the Toyota crossover to get. I mean, my heart goes out for the Venza. Yeah, I adore I the Venza. I, lo I love that it's, Venza. You know, this is like such a gem. People yeah. just never appreciate it. This is like one of the best hidden gem, but the name yeah. was wrong. Venza means toilet seat in Japanese. <laughs> they should just know. call it the Harrier. Yeah, the Harrier. Harrier. Yeah, yeah I mean, definitely. Yeah. But just but, the last question, the yeah. engine, the powertrain on this one, right? Two and a half liter hybrid, 243 horsepower. Yeah. But, no, but no hybrid max. We're no not getting the hybrid Correct. max. Correct. No yes. hybrid max. Also, no, no plug-in hybrid. No plug -in hybrid. This is slated yeah. for plug-in hybrid. In the press materials in Japan, it's 100% coming to the Japanese yes. market. Yeah. But hybrid, did they offer the hybrid max in Japan? I don't. Not on this. Not on this one. Plug-in no. hybrid, yeah. yes. Just like so, on the Venza, they offer plug-in yeah, hybrid there. But yeah. Yeah. we'll get it. So, we'll get it. You know, we'll eventually get it probably. You know, David. So we'll what? See. Here's here's a wild theory. What if? This replaces Highlander at the Indiana plant, right? So we can get that production volume, yeah. and yeah. North Carolina battery plant coming online in 2025. Yeah. We're able to get that plug-in hybrid and mass very volume. Very possible. Yeah, very that's possible. That's just a pipe dream, but yeah, that's I, what I, we do. I have a feeling that they want to keep the Crown name being produced in Japan. That's my it. my I feeling. Tsutsumi plant. It's a good plant, although it's not a upscale plant yeah. like a Tahara plant. It's not a Lexus plant. But Tsutsumi plant produces, like my our RAV4 Prime that my wife has is built in Tsutsumi plant. I got gotcha. you. So it's a really good factory. I've been there about five times, maybe five, yeah. six times. It's an older plant, but, uh, but it, they got really good Takumi people there also. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Right? yeah. Probably pretty much at all their plants. Yeah. 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 Anyway, you know. I guess we're going to sign off for now. Yep. So goodbye to Kirk's friends. Goodbye to my friends. Goodbye to David's friends. And then we'll stay in touch. <laughs> all right, See you guys. Bye, guys. Peace.